Welcome back everyone, my name is Austin with Socialty Pro and today I'm gonna to show you how to do keyword research to find opportunity keywords that are easy for you to rank for for your business and that actually drive clicks. The importance of this is we don't wanna just rank on Google. You can rank on Google, but if zero people are clicking on your website, what does it matter if you're on the first page? You need clicks to get onto your website to generate sales generate business, and generate leads. So I'm going to show you exactly how to do that. This tool is called ahrefs.com. Uh, this is a, a fantastic tool that I personally use for all of the keyword research for all of my clients, and I hope this strategy is going to help you. Let's jump right in. So after you sign up to ahrefs.com, I'm going to click on Keyword Explorer here up in the upper tab. And uh, another great thing that I love about ahrefs is it gives you all of these different search engines. Uh, that you can do keyword research for. So Google, YouTube, Amazon even, which is amazing, Bing, Yahoo, uh, and then some of these other ones if you really wanna focus on that. But today we're gonna be focusing on Google and uh, let's just type an example in here. Let's type in uh, dentist, for instance. I'm gonna click this search icon right here. And naturally, this is pretty hard, right? This is, you know, that's a super, um, you know, single word. Uh, term. What we're looking for here is uh, longer tail keywords that have uh, more of an opportunity to rank for. So what I like to do is click on uh, all keyword ideas or you can mess around with phrase match or even mess around with questions. So it's going to show you some you know related keywords here. It, it actually spin out 755,000 keywords. Now all of these are not going to be directly related but some of them will. What we want to look for here is this, first of all, this KD, which is keyword difficulty. Uh, this is the, basically the lower the number uh, and the um, closer to green it is, uh, the easier it is to rank for. And then I'm also going to click on, uh, I, I, ha I already have it on here, but we're going to click on more filters and make sure you have uh, clicks turned on. And uh, we're going to do a minimum here of, of 100. Okay, so this is going to ensure that the keywords are actually driving clicks. I'm going to switch over here to phrase match, for instance, and I'm going to sort this by volume as well. And then we can also see the clicks over here. This is very important. So there's a lot of great opportunities here. So like dentist is extremely difficult to rank for, right? But perhaps uh, pediatric dentist is, uh, is pretty low here. Pediatric dentist near me. So you never want to put near me in your title but what you can do to optimize for near me is in your area. So if you're in Costa Mesa, California, say, you would do uh, a page, an article around pediatric dentist uh, in Orange County, California, uh, or emergency dentist, um, 28, that's pretty easy as well. Kids dentist, right? Some of these are, are pretty, uh, pretty easy to rank for. This is... Um, some great opportunities here. Maybe you're, maybe you are an, a, an affordable dentist, so you can uh, uh, create a page around cheap dentist, or you know some of these other things. Is it safe to go to the dentist? It's a little higher difficulty right now. Walk-in dentist, right? These are all great opportunities. And then what we can do is look through some of these. So let's let's go into pediatric dentist near me, for instance. And I like this as well because you can see the trend of these keywords. So this is a keyword that is in that is continually going up in traffic over the last five years. So that's great. Now you can also look at some keyword ideas and opportunities here as well. So best pediatric dentist, pediatric dentist near me that accepts Medicaid. If you do accept Medicaid, um, these are specific uh, questions over here. And this is going to give you a lot of uh, great opportunity. It also shows you some of the top pages that are ranking for those said keywords so that you can come over and look at some of these individual pages and see exactly why some of those pages are ranking, you know, what headlines are they using, uh, what paragraphs are they using, are they putting in videos, are they putting in um, pictures, you know, etc., infographics, uh, things along the lines of that. So what I like to do from here 
is mark down all of these. Go into a, a spreadsheet or something and you can mark down this keyword, pediatric dentist near me. You can put the, the uh, search volume. You can rank it by keyword score if you want. And you can even put down the, uh, the clicks here, 19,000 clicks per month. This is, uh, this is great. So let's go, into some of, um, let's go into some of these having the same terms as well. Because uh, you can just kind of go down this, this rabbit hole of keyword research. And the, the more narrow that you get, these are more longer form keywords, right? These are three or more words uh, that all have significant volume. This is going to give you a huge uh, idea of different pages and different related keywords that you can insert into your pages and articles so that you can actually show up on Google for terms that are driving clicks, right? Emergency pediatric dentist. That's very specific, but it's actually driving clicks, right? Top pediatric dentist. And a lot of these are near me, which is why it's so important to localize all of your pages, all of your service-based pages. If you have any other questions about keyword research or Ahrefs, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. You can click right here if you want to see another detailed keyword research video. And I have a link in the description for top 10 dental marketing strategies if you're interested in that. See you next time.